As L.A. bids a final farewell to Kobe Bryant, his widow has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Vanessa Bryant says the owner of the helicopter that crashed on January 26 is responsible for the loss of her husband and daughter. A legal expert says she may have a strong case. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live in downtown L.A. with the details of the lawsuit. Joy. That's right, guys. The lawsuit itself was filed here at the Stanley Moss Courthouse behind me earlier today. There is no dollar amount mentioned when it comes to damages, but experts say it could be in the millions. It was a heart-stopping scene on a Calabasas hillside. And on a day dedicated to grieving the loss of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi, Vanessa Bryant made it clear legally they will not be forgotten. Her attorney filed a 72-page lawsuit against Island Express and the estate of its pilot, Ara Zobayan. be surprising if there wasn't a lawsuit file. Dan Rose is an aviation attorney with Kreindler and Kreindler and a former naval pilot. Although not working directly with this lawsuit, he says Bryant's attorneys will have to prove negligence to win. It's probably not too difficult to make out that case given the information that we already have. The NTSB already released a detailed account of the crash, moving the investigation away from a mechanical error and toward the weather and actions of the pilot. There's a lot of good radar information. There's communication information. There's unfortunately a lot of information from the wreckage scene as well. In the 28 count complaint, Bryant's attorneys make several negligence claims against the pilot and company, claiming the pilot was negligent for flying in bad weather and the company allowed him to operate in what the suit calls a risky means of transport, considering the helicopter didn't have appropriate warning systems for the circumstances. Was there negligence involved? It, it certainly seems that way early on, and there's pretty consistent information that the pilot has entered the clouds uh, when he shouldn't have. As for suing the company and not just the pilot who died in the crash, Rose says that's standard because it was the company's job to make sure the helicopter didn't crash. Selecting the pilot, making sure that they follow the procedures, that they establish procedures, that they train the pilots properly. Island Express declined to comment on the case. Its website just has a statement posted saying they aren't flying. And Rose says they likely won't again. And he says this won't be the only lawsuit either. For whatever insurance money the company has will be handed out to all the victims in the crash. Figuring out which victim gets what will be the real fight. Even if there was, let's say, $50 million in insurance, um, that would uh, arguably, in all likelihood, not be enough to legally satisfy all the claims. Now, even though this particular claim asks for a jury trial, Rose doesn't think it'll make it that far. He thinks it'll be settled long before that. And he says Island Express, as we know it, will shut down. Whatever money that they have will be divvied up among the victims. And then possibly Island Express will reopen under a different name.